Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, My Loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. It is the it is time for the second installment of the best of 2023. We're talking about eyes today. Everything from eyeliner, brows, eyeshadow palettes, all of it. Before we get started, a very special, very warm welcome to any of those that are new to my channel. I am so incredibly happy that you are here. If you enjoy the content, I do so hope that you will mash that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already. And I hope that you will ring my bell, turn on your notifications, so that way, next time I upload a video, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Also, my makeup is already done. It is... It's so pretty. Very soft, but still colorful and fun, as always. I did make sure to film a TikTok on today's, today's eye look. If you are interested, I'll make sure to have the tag for that, as well as all of my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, in the description box below, along with the list of everything we're going to talk about in today's video. Guys, if you are not following me on all my other socials, you definitely should go do that. Uh, I post fun content literally every single day and if you're following me everywhere you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it guys i am doing good stuff over on tiktok so if you're on tiktok i definitely think you should look me up over there share me like comment uh come on guys like we can do this we can grow this channel this year i know we can <laughs> all right with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and dive in to the very best eye products of the year Let's start out with some brows. Guys, brows, I really feel like I got my brow game down this year. Brows was a journey for me. I really had to figure out what shape worked best for my face, if I liked them thin, if I liked them thick. I feel like brows are so very personal to each and every person. Like, it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no guide. I mean, you know, there's kind of a guide. But really, brows are such a personal thing. Everybody's brows are just a teeny tiny bit different. And it really did take me forever to nail my brow routine down. But I'm telling you, once I did, I am so happy with my brows. I think they are really, really fantastic. And I'm really happy with the products that I use. So first up, we have the brow pencil. This is the first step in my brows every single day. I like to use this to underline my brows and then brush it through. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, specifically in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Now, this brow pencil goes for $11, which is a little bit pricey but it is so perfect. Super creamy. It's got a perfect cream, like creaminess to waxiness ratio. It lasts a really well, like a really long time in the brows. Super easy to work with. I love, love, love how feeny, feeny, feeny this is. Like it is the teeniest, tiniest little tip. It lets you be so precise. It is great for underlining. It's also really great for doing hair like strokes in the front of your brows. This thing is fantastic. I also really, really enjoy the spoolie on the other end of it. This spoolie is nice and dense. It really combs through the hairs and really separates everything out. It combs product through really evenly. It's just nice. It is a perfect brow pencil, in my opinion. Freaking love it so, so much. And for $11, I don't think that is uh, too, too high of a price point to ask for something so amazing. Next up, another NYX product. I feel like NYX really kills it in the, the brow game. This, I think, is probably going to be on just about everybody's best of list this year. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I This is another product that I cannot do my brows without. It's truly fantastic. I have this, again, in the shade Cool Ash Brown. It is a felt-tipped brow marker. It just goes on and it gives the most beautiful like hair like it is so realistic it is so perfect for drawing realistic hair strokes oh it's so good i love this i use this mostly in the front of my brow and then just to kind of fill in sparseness towards the center 
guys this is beautiful I there is a tiny bit of a learning curve with this product because you need to learn how much pressure to apply because the more pressure you apply the thicker the darker the line so on and so forth but once you get this product down it is gonna be it's gonna be a, a holy grail for you as well it truly is just spectacular now this one is a little bit more expensive this is twelve dollars yeah twelve dollars but y'all I'm telling you I've had this pen for I want to say months at this point they last absolutely forever because you just use the tiniest amount of them every day and it's just like they're gonna last you forever so it is so worth it is so worth the investment it is so so fantastic and then for brow gel y'all at the beginning of this year elf released the brow lift and when I finally got my fingers on it got my brushes into it and used it I fell in love with that instantly however after a couple months of use this really gross I finally had to throw mine away this really gross thick layer of mold started to to, to form on my brow wax and instead of it looking like a brow wax it looked like a freaking petri dish and I was not excited about that I thought that was pretty freaking gross actually and I wasn't even but halfway through the pot so at six dollars I was wasting basically three dollars worth of product and that really really upset me so I looked for an alternative and I found this one. So this is the Magical Girl Brow Lift Sculpting Wax from Shop Miss A. Instead of being six, $6 like the e.l.f. one, this is $1.55. And when I tell you I like this so much more, first of all, nothing's growing in here. I've had this for, I want to say almost as long as I had the e.l.f. product before it started uh, growing. It became a science experiment and y'all clear clean as a whistle like there's nothing growing in there it there's nothing wrong with this this is such a freaking fantastic product I honestly just placed an order for two more of these I use it every single day I do my brows it is what is in my brows today and this is even better than the elf one first of all I like the texture a little bit better it's not quite as sticky as the elf one is uh, it's a little bit stiffer so it really combs through the brows and really keeps everything stuck up without being stiff. It's more waxy and less sticky like the elf one was. Second of all, this sets down. The elf one tended to stay very mobile in my brows. It didn't set down. It stayed very, it stayed just, it just stayed very mobile. It didn't dry down at all. And I would touch my brow and it would just smear and it wasn't a cute look. This, however, dries down completely to a no budge almost pretty much sweat proof waterproof kind of finish this is going to give you indestructible brows and baby especially as a big girl who like i sweat i move i touch my face things like that like this is it, it has become such a holy grail product for me i love this so so much you get uh just about as i think just as much or maybe even a little bit more in this pot than you do in the elf one for quite literally a fifth of the price it is so fantastic uh yeah i can't recommend this any any higher any more highly i'm not exactly sure how to say that but this is my very very favorite brow wax of all time it's freaking phenomenal. If you have not tried it, you definitely need to. You will not regret it. So, so nice. Moving on to eyeshadow primers. And there are two that I want to talk about this year. First is just your regular standard run-of-the-mill eyeshadow primer. This is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Primer. It's the eyeshadow base shadow and liner primer. This is what it looks like. I have mine in the shade light. It does come in different skin tones. I believe they have a light, a medium, and a dark, which I think is pretty freaking cool. It has a standard kind of like doe foot applicator. This is so fantastic. You get a great amount of product in here. One of these tubes, I think it's around 10 or $11, so it is a little bit pricey, but one of these tubes will last me literally forever. It is so good. And when I tell you this locks your eyeshadow down, it locks it down. It is, it provides the tiniest bit of coverage, but I would say it's more of a sticky tacky base, but it's sticky and tacky while still being very easy to blend over top of. One of the biggest reasons I don't enjoy using a concealer or something like that to blend over top of is I find that sometimes it can make my eyeshadow blend just a little bit choppy this gives me a smooth seamless 
effortless blend every single time while still having enough of that tack and hold to it to really adhere my eyeshadow to my eyes. Y'all, I have super watery eyes. I also have hooded eyes, so creasing is quite often a factor for me. And with this stuff, like I've had my eye makeup on for, I want to say at least uh, five or six hours uh, at this point, my makeup's been done for a minute. Uh, and my eyeshadow still looks just as fresh as when I just applied it. This stuff is indispensable to me. Love it. Use it every single time I do my makeup. Uh, if you are looking for an eyeshadow primer that is more like a concealer, or basically if you're just looking for a cut crease medium, if you're looking for, if you like a, an eyeshadow primer that's got like some serious cover coverage that's going to give you a blank canvas to work on top of, I highly recommend the Colored Rain paint base. This is a fairly recent discovery of mine, but the very minute I played with it, played with it the first time, I I was in I was in love. It was an instant love affair for me. This stuff is fantastic. I have mine in the shade white, but again, they have an entire shade range of this product, everything from white to super deep and dark. So there is a skin tone there for just about everybody. I also really love that this is from an independently owned brand. Uh, it's all, it's, it's woman owned as well. I just think this stuff is fantastic. Now this goes for $11. So about the same price as the NYX full price. You get a, you get 12 mils of product in here. So point four zero ounces, a little bit under a half an ounce of product. Guys, this stuff is super, super pigmented. A little bit of it is going to go a very, very long way. I find that this is really, really great for cut creases. See, look how pigmented it is. This is such a great cut crease medium. It is such a great like mixing medium as well. If you've got a uh, cream eyeshadow that's maybe gone a little bit gummy or dried up a little bit on you, uh, it's also really great to mix loose pigments into because uh, it dries down to a fully like budge proof matte finish. Now it's not tear proof, but it is tear resistant. Like it does, it, it, it holds up really, really well on my very, very watery eyes. Guys, I love this stuff so, so much. It is quite possibly the best fully pigmented eyeshadow base I've ever tried. I like it that much. It's so, so nice. Next category we have is liners. And liners is one of those categories that I am very, very passionate about. A good liner can make or break an eye look. Sometimes, like, especially if you're talking about like a, a bright, bold, colorful eyeliner, sometimes it can take a look that seems a little bit disjointed and really bring it back together. Also, a good black eyeliner is surprisingly difficult to come by. So we're going to get into we're going to get into all of it, all of the categories. First up, we've got just straight up black pencil eyeliner, and it's got to go to Ioni of all things. Y'all, I discovered this eyeliner pencil at the freaking Dollar Tree of all places. This uh, eye pencil costs $1.25. This is the Ioni Cosmetics pencil eyeliner in the shade black. When I tell you it's what I'm wearing in my waterline today, this is a fantastic, fantastic waterproof, budge proof, black inky eyeliner pencil. Now it has that gel kind of formula to it. So it just glides on effortlessly onto the uh, waterline. It doesn't ever tug. It's never dry feeling. It's never scratchy. It is a sharpenable pencil. So you can really make sure you get a nice sharp tip on there. It's fantastic. I love these. I've already gone and picked up two more backups of it. I love this thing so, so much. At $1.25, it's just about the cheapest option you're going to find anywhere. And when I tell you the quality of this is unmatched, it is, it's so good. It's so good. So definitely the winner for the year. In the same kind of category, we have black liquid liners. And that goes, again, to NYX. NYX just kind of kills it with some things. This is the NYX Epic Ink uh, Black Eyeliner uh eyeliner pen. This is a, it's a brush tip. It is a brush tip. That is a prerequisite for me. If it has a felt tip, I'm usually just not interested. I have very, very hooded eyes. I also have very textured and wrinkly eyelids. And oftentimes a felt tip is just too dry. It tugs on my lid and it is impossible for me to get a nice, sharp, clean line. 
This, however, is just, it's perfect. It is a perfect eyeliner pencil. It is nice and super pigmented, very inky and dark, but also you can get a super, a super, a super sharp line with it. Uh, you can also get nice thick lines with it as well. A great amount of product comes out at one time. I really enjoy the flexibility and control of the brush tip applicator. It's just fire. It's fantastic. The only downside I see with this is that sometimes it does leak uh, and it doesn't happen with every pen, but sometimes if I don't close the cap right, I will get a little bit of a, a like a, of a little bit of an oil spill, a little bit of a leak going on. But other than that, when it comes to application, it is fantastic. The best one I've used all year for sure. Next up, we have like colored liners. So we have liquid, let's do liquid liner first. I have two different options for liquid liners this year. So first of which is another NYX option. This is the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Eyeliners. These are, they're, they're fantastic. It is the same formula as the Epic Ink Liner, the, the eyeliner pen that I just showed you, but they have... Oh, they're just so bright and happy. They come in a bunch of really gorgeous, gorgeous colors. They're super pigmented. They really show up. Again, it's a dip liner, but this one, again, has a really gorgeous, very easy to control brush tip applicator. So we love that. These are fantastic. They are a little bit pricey, though. I think these go for around $10 or $11 a piece. If you're looking for something that's just a little bit more affordable, we have the AF94 liquid eyeliners. Now this is a dip liner as well. Uh, however, these ones have a felt tip liner, a felt tip applicator rather than a brush tip. Now, usually that would make me look the other way, but there is something, look at that. Oh, there is something about this particular felt tip that really, really mimics a brush tip. It is easy to use. It's flexible. It holds enough product so that it doesn't feel dry and tuggy on my eyelids. This comes in a bunch of different colors. And I think it's around seven or eight dollars a piece. So a little bit more affordable than the next one. You're getting about the same amount of product in each one. So it really just depends on uh, what you like more. Do you like a brush tip applicator or do you like a felt tip applicator? Either way, both of these are really fantastic options for around the same price point and they're both available at Walmart. So we love that. All right. So a category that I almost didn't include, but I use it so often I figured I had to talk about it. Next up, we have glitter liners. And this is one of those categories that is kind of new for this year's episode, just because there were so many different brands that released glitter liquid eyeliners this year. I figured I'd have to talk about it. However, of all the brands that released them, I found the best one on freaking Amazon of all places. And not only is it the best, but it's also the most affordable. These are the Langmani glitter eyeliners. This is the set that they have. There are, oh, there's a ton of them in here. Look how many come in here. These are truly, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a close up. Can you see how truly beautiful they are? I love these. Packaging, 10 out of 10. I love that they come in their own little sleeve. It's super easy to keep a hold of all of them, keep everything together so it doesn't get lost. There's a color in here for just about any and every need that you might have. Uh, I love the, again, just the individual packaging on these. I love how tiny they are. I feel like I'll be able to get through this before it dries up and I have to throw it away. You guys know how I feel about that, but it feels substantial. It feels solid. It doesn't feel cheap in any way, shape, or form. I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, ten separate individual glitter liquid eyeliners for $10. That means each one of these was around a dollar a piece. Y'all, you absolutely cannot, cannot beat that. Uh, and again, they're just really fantastic fantastic quality. They're so glittery and so reflective. They catch the light. Can you guys see how pretty that is? It's what I have all over my inner lid today. And they just look so pretty. Very easy to control, very easy to use. They have, oh, they're just good. They're just good. If you enjoy a good liquid uh, glitter liner situation. These are 
very very yummy the best ones i've tried this year for sure now moira cosmetics also has some that are really fabulous but they're very very expensive you get a much larger tube of it but i think it's around like six seven eight dollars a piece and i would much rather have I would much rather spend $10 and get 10 different colors in a smaller tube because quite honestly, how fast are you going to go through a full tube of glitter liner, right? It's not something we all use every single day. So I would much rather have smaller tubes, but more options, spend just about the same amount of money than just have one big tube that's probably going to dry out before I can get to the end of it. So these are fantastic. Again, Amazon has got some of the funnest, coolest freaking makeup. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm bored is just peruse the Amazon, uh, Amazon makeup. I find some really fun stuff sometimes. Next category, we have uh, colored pencil liners. And I think this is the, this is the last uh, category for eyeliners this year. I bet you guys can guess exactly what brand I'm going to talk about. We're talking about the LA Colors gel neon gel eyeliners i freaking love these i've got this one in my waterline today this is probably my favorite one out of the entire range this is the shade wonder and it is just y'all i mean the pigmentation the creaminess like look how beautifully they blend like you could literally use this as eyeshadow if you wanted to they set down to a completely budge proof kind of finish like once they sit down they are not moving they last beautifully in my waterline they are sharpenable and they sharpen really easily as well that was the shade uh wonder i also have the shade hypnotic which is just as beautiful just as creamy just as pigmented and wonderful guys they're fantastic best part about it is they're freaking two bucks a piece depending on where you purchase them these are available just about everywhere. You can pick these up at Walmart. You can pick them up at Dollar General. I think they're the cheapest on Amazon, but y'all, they're spectacular. And especially in a world where people are trying to charge $15 for a freaking eyeliner, why in the world would you ever spend that much money when you can go to LA Colors, spend $2, and get a fabulous budge-proof, tear-proof, waterproof gel liner that's like pigmented to the gods like i just yes ma'am these are my absolute favorites of the year they i i think i use them almost every single time i do my makeup they've become a little bit of an addiction for me the color range is really fabulous as well uh their flash white one is spectacular one of the best white eyeliners i've ever used their yellow is really really nice they've got a green one a purple one They've got every color you might need, and they're just so, so good. At $2 a piece, you cannot beat it. Now, while we're on the subject of glitter, I want to talk about the best glitter formulas I discovered this year. First, we have Profusion. Guys, I know that you have heard me talk about the Profusion pressed glitters. I, I really do enjoy a good pressed glitter. I find them to be incredibly convenient. They take a look from 0 to 60 in a heartbeat sometimes if there's just that one little something missing from an eyeshadow look nine times out of ten you add a little bit of glitter and you are good to go now I'm cho I'm picking the profusion uh, pressed glitter palettes just these ones in particular because you there's a really great price point I think these go for around seven or eight dollars a piece but nine times out of ten, you're going to find these on sale. You can usually pick them up for anywhere from like three to five bucks. So really fantastic, fantastic price point. You get five different glitter colors in here. This is the, they're the glitter gems, right? So this is the Onyx gems one, but they also have a red one, uh, ruby, amethyst. Uh, they've got topaz, all kinds. They come in basically any color you might need. And these are truly just, it's spectacular pressed glitter formula. I like these so much because you can use them without a glitter glue. They are so easy to just tap your finger. Look how beautiful that is. You just tap your finger in and press it onto the lid and they adhere so beautifully. You Look, nothing on my finger. It transfers to the lid really easily uh, I never have to worry about fallout it doesn't like I don't end up looking in the mirror 20 minutes later and got fairy dust all over my cheeks like they just stay all day they're so so nice now you can of course use them with a glitter glue and they're just gonna be that much better 
but these are spectacular. Now on the same vein, you have the Hard Candy Pressed Glitter Formula. And I think the Hard Candy ones are so beautiful because they come in much more like fun colors. Now I like the Profusion if you're looking for I mean, I think if, if you're looking for more solid glitter colors, Profusion has your back. But if you're looking for something that is super multidimensional and very almost like shifty, very sparkly, Hard Candy is where it where it's at. Now, I have this one from the Wednesday Halloween collection, but these come in a bunch of different uh colorways and variations. Each palette has, again, five different glitters. But, y'all, the sizes of the pans, you're getting so much more glitter in the hard candy ones, and they're just they're just as spectacular. Uh, I think if I had to pick, pick a favorite, I prefer the hard candy, and I never thought I would say that because I'm a ride or die for the Profusion Pressed Glitters, but I find that the hard candy ones are just a little bit more dimensional. There's, there's just, they're a little bit more sparkly. They have like uh, every single shade has multi different uh, like colored glitters in there. They're just really, really nice. Both of these are fantastic. It just depends on what you're going for. Do you want more of a solid glitter or do you want something that's just a little bit more uh, wacky? It just depends. Both of these are really fantastic. The price point is really similar as well. The hard candy glitter palettes go for they go for five dollars and ninety seven cents a piece, so they are more affordable as well. I just think overall these ones are the better buy. You're getting more product for a better price point. They're just really really nice. But Profusion is really nice as well, so really don't have a bad thing to say about either one of them. Now, while we're still on the subject of glitter, I need to talk to you guys about probably the most spectacular glitter product that I have discovered all year. Now, this is from the same brand as the Glitter Liquid Liners that I just talked about. These are the Langmani Glitter Zone Glitter Gels. This is for the face and body and when I tell you this is quite, it, it, not quite possibly, this is 100% definitely the most beautiful glitter gel I have ever had the privilege of using. It is so spectacularly beautiful. Guys, if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you will have heard me speak about these. They're just, they're so incredibly beautiful. They're just, I can't, I cannot get over them. So look at that. Just even on the brush tip, they're so, so pretty. Look at that mermaid, like mermaid tails and fish scales. It is so, so beautiful. And of course the camera isn't going to do it justice, but please believe me when I tell you they are stunning. Y'all, you get so much product in here. You're getting a ton of product in here. Let's see, how much do you actually get in here? You get net weight is one point. You're getting 40 mils in here. 40 mils in here, which is a ton of product. That is a ton of product, right? And for each one of these, it is only $7, depending, because a lot of times you can get, you can click that like 5% off coupon and get a couple dollars off. Y'all, I have every single color available in these and I am waiting for them to release more. I like these so much because all of the glitter is that teeny tiny fine little glitter. I am not a chunky glitter kind of girl. I don't like the way that it looks. I don't like the way that it lays on my textured hooded eyelids. It makes my eyes fold in a really weird way. So when I find like I really like a glitter gel or just a pressed glitter in general, that is very fine. I like very, very fine glitter. And this is exactly that. It has so much dimension, so much movement. It literally just like dances across your eyelids. It dries down completely. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It, there's no fallout. This is just, if I had a favorite product of the year, it would be this right here. I cannot tell you how many times I have reached for these glitter gels and it has just taken a look from like, oh, you're pretty, you're kind of cute to, oh my God, you're amazing. Like it just makes such a big difference. And I am such a glitter girl just in general. I love a good glitter moment, even if it's just a little dab of it on the inner corner. It is so beautiful. It makes such a big difference uh, in the overall look of the, of the eye. It's just it's beautiful. I love these. They're really, really priced. Uh, they're really affordable as well. You're getting a ton of product. So the quality is there. The, uh, you know, the quantity is there. 
it's just fantastic. Probably the best glitter gel I've used or found just in general. And the fact that you can just get it on Amazon, I just, ugh, I love it so, so much. These are probably one of the best products I found this year. One of my favorites anyway. So, so nice. Moving on to liquid eyeshadow. Liquid eyeshadow <clears throat> is a category that is very hit or miss for me. I find that nine times out of ten, a liquid eyeshadow is just going to disappoint me, which makes me really, really sad, but just kind of is what it is. However, I found a couple of formulas this year that really, really knocked my socks off. First off, for best matte, we have Lottie London. These are the Lottie London Cloud. They're the color cloud liquid eyeshadows. They're the matte liquid eyeshadows. These are the Lottie London Color Cloud Matte Liquid Eyeshadows. They are available at Walmart and on Amazon. These are super affordable as well. They're $5.98, which again, not a bad price point at all. They come in a bunch of really beautiful colors. She's got some pastel tones. She's also got some really beautiful neutral tones. Y'all, when I first used these, I was kind of like, eh, I wasn't the biggest fan. But at that point, I really didn't know how to use a matte liquid eyeshadow either y'all when I tell you these are so beautiful look at the pigment there they are so pigmented they're so easy to use they're matte without being drying they just they blend out really beautifully like these are going to be perfect if you're trying to do a cut crease they're going to be perfect if you just want like a one and done all over the eye they're pigmented but not overly so they're also beautifully buildable as well they dry down completely to a really beautiful matte finish but again it's not too heavy it's not too matte it's not drying on the skin they're really really comfortable i find that matte liquid eyeshadows can sometimes be really heavy and almost feel like I don't heavy they can almost make me my eyelids feel like they're kind of like stuck but these don't do that they dry down but they still manage to be very breathable also they're not patchy matte liquid eyeshadows can can be so freaking patchy they can just be awful right and these are so so good so you have that purple lavender color you also have this really gorgeous like minty green color you have this really soft baby pastel blue. This is sky blue. So there are all three of her pastel colors. And then when it comes to her more neutral colors, we have a pink, we have a peachy nude, and then we have a brown. All three of these tones are just as beautiful. Let's do a little swatcheroo. And I just think they're so pigmented and so easy to work with. If you are a one and done kind of girl, I feel like these are going to be absolutely perfect for you. All three of these shades are so, so pretty. Look at that. They're so, so stunning. I love these. These are going to be for, you know, if for like the everyday makeup wear, the everyday makeup kind of girly. If you want to take just a little bit of this, just kind of tap it out on the eyelid and be good to go. These are going to be perfect. I love the price point. You get a ton of product in here packaging super cute lottie london always has really adorable packaging it's just a 10 out of 10 across the board they're fantastic the best matte ones i've tried all year when it comes to glitter liquid eyeshadows black radiance baby now this might be a brand that you've never heard of before the only place that i kept that i've ever found this brand was either on amazon or or at Walgreens and they're not even at every single Walgreens but when I tell you these are the these are the black radiance lid glitz now the packaging 10 out of 10 really really beautiful I love these so so much this one is probably one of my favorites it's just this really deep kind of dark moody kind of purple glitter but the reason I love these as much as I do is because it is exactly what it says it is it is a straight up glitter look at that look at that so oh okay they're just pretty this is the shade star studded really gorgeous deep moody black based purple we, i have a bunch of different shades because i really really like these uh these go for seven dollars and 99 cents but they're more affordable on amazon you can find them for cheaper over there look at that color soft silver color then we have a blue one, and this is blue, but it has little like pink reflex in it as well. 
super, super pretty. And it is straight up glitter, but the glitter is so densely packed in there that it really gives you a chance to really customize your coverage here. So if you really want to paint it on, you can get a nice opaque, look at that green one. Oh, so they're so glittery. They almost look metallic. This is just a really gorgeous green shade. And then we have a slightly deeper green. This is the last color that I have. Look at that though. This one is like duochromatic from like a green to a gold. Kind of shifty a little bit, y'all. These remind me very much of the e.l.f. glitter liquid eyeshadows, but they're so much better. First off, you get a ton more product in here. The amount of product you get in those e.l.f. liquid eyeshadows is minuscule at best. You're paying $5 for those, getting barely any product. And I really don't think as beautiful as they are, they're nowhere near as densely packed with glitter as these are. And I just think it's kind of a mixture between the e.l.f. metallic glitter, metallic liners or metallic eyeshadows and glitter eyeshadows because you do have a little bit of a colored base in here. But then all that glitter in there is just so shiny and gorgeous. These are the best glitter eyeshadows I found all year. They come in a ton of different colorways and they're just beautiful. Also from a brand that I literally never hear anybody speak about. I've tried a, quite a bit from Black Radiance. Their eyeshadows are fantastic. Their liquid eyeshadows are really good. Their lip products are freaking phenomenal. I just think it's a brand that doesn't get enough hype and they have really high quality products uh, for really great price points. $7.99 y'all for that for that quality I just think is kind of mind-blowing look how pretty all that is next up we have like liquid pigments right so we have liquid eyeshadow and then liquid pigments and the liquid pigment department has definitely uh it, it's been one it's been uh, it's been ruled over it has been absolutely dominated by Moira this year. So Moira released the super hyped liquid pigments. There is literally, she released the entire rainbow of these. She released a bunch of nude tones. She released a bunch of really bright, beautiful, like rainbow colors as well. These are, and they're not liquid eyeshadows per se, they're liquid pigments. So these are safe for the eyes, the face, and the lips as well. You can use these as blush, you can use them as lipstick, you can use them as eyeshadow. Y'all, when I tell you, I fell in love so hard with these. Uh, this is the shade Sunrise Pink. This is the shade Sunrise Pink, and they're so pigmented. They're so pigmented, they dry down to a budge-proof matte finish. Y'all, once these sit down, they're not going anywhere. They are a kind of like a liquid to powder formulation, so they dry down and they have that matte kind of finish, but they're not uh, they're not heavy. They have almost like that velvetizing soft focus kind of effect on the skin. Uh, they're just so super pretty and they're very versatile. They're very multi-purpose, which I absolutely adore. I love that I can do, if I wanted to use this color, I could do a monochromatic makeup look in an instant. Put this on my eyes, put it on my cheek, put it on my lips and be good to go. These are wonderful for that kind of thing. Now, the reason I picked these up in the first place was to use them as a cut crease medium. And while they work for that, they're not my favorite for that. I find that they dry down really, really quickly. Uh, and if you try to mess with them after they've dried down, they can get a little patchy. So I find that these are best for like one and done kind of eyeshadow looks, things like that. But they look really beautiful on the lips. I've used this color in particular as a lipstick a million and one different times. Looks beautiful every single time. I've used it as blush, one of my favorite colors for a blush as well. Just really, really pretty. These are fantastic, a super affordable as well at $7 a piece. You're not going to beat that price point anywhere. Now, last but not least, I had to mention the Juvia's Place liquid eyeshadows. These are $15 a piece. Everything else was like six and seven dollars. So it's literally twice that much. But this shade in particular, this is the shade Fula. And I just, this is probably my favorite liquid eyeshadow just of, of all, just in general this year. <sighs> They're multi-chromatic 
liquid eyeshadows and you know I would go out and I would pay $15 for these all day every day because they're just that freaking beautiful uh, I mean you don't necessarily need to have them in your collection but boy oh boy what a wonderful thing if you do they're the packaging is really really nice standard they almost look like Juvia's Place uh, liquid lipsticks that kind of thing but my camera isn't going to do this justice but when I tell you this one is the shade Fula and it shifts from like this really gorgeous pink to turquoise kind of like flip to it it's just it's incredibly beautiful it's beautiful I love these they also came out with the shade oh they came out with a green one I never know how to pronounce this shade I keep them in their outer sleeve packaging just because I think it is so so pretty but y'all look at this one this one shifts from like a gold to a green with a little bit of I want to say like pink or red in there this one is just as beautiful let's do a little bit a little swatch of it right here Yo, look at that there's gold and green in there absolutely freaking stunning they are so smooth and so pigmented they're not patchy in any way like they're just really really nice this one was the one that was a little bit upsetting because when I purchased this one it was already dried out just a little bit but this one I was super excited about this one shifts from like red to gold to copper this one was just a little bit dried out when I purchased it but it is still so beautiful you just look at that look at that y'all quite honestly they are the most beautiful multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows I've ever played with. I think they're spectacular. At $15 a piece, it is very, very expensive. But when you consider the fact that they are multi-chrome liquid, eye liquid eyeshadows, uh, multi-chromes just in general usually range anywhere from like $12 to $18, sometimes $22 a piece. So $15 is a good like midway price point for these. Getting a good amount of product in here. Like they're just really, really beautiful. Packaging is super nice. So yeah, these are my favorite liquid multi-chromes of the year. While we're on the subject of multi-chromes uh, and pigments just in general, I want to talk to you guys about my favorite loose pigments of the year. Uh, multi-chrome loose pigments are definitely coming from Nakia Joy Cosmetics. Now, if you don't know who Nakia Joy is, Nakia Joy. She is a fellow YouTuber. She is so beautiful. She is so stunning. She has her own cosmetics line, Nakia Joy Cosmetics, and these are her Chroma Shift Loose Pigments. And I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch for you guys. I'm going to take a little bit of a glitter glue and put it on the back of my hand. Now, this is the kind of thing that you definitely need a glitter glue for. They are not going to stick to the skin without one. It is a very dry, very, it is a very thin, very dry, loose pigment. You kind of just like fly away on you. And then when you apply them, you just take a very dense, flat brush and pack it on to that sticky primer. But do you guys see that? You see like a purple, like a peacock blue, but I see straight up like green and gold and um, oh, and they're so beautiful. I wish I could show you guys the switch a little bit better, but these are fantastic. Uh, she has an entire line of these. Now, because it is a multi-chrome pigment, they are a little bit expensive. Uh, these go for $15 a piece. But quite honestly, uh, I've tried a couple of different multi-chrome loose pigments, and these are the best ones I've tried. They are, they're just spectacular, really, really high quality. You're getting a good amount of product in here as well. I've had these for almost, almost a full year at this point. Use them quite often, and I still have quite a bit of product in each one of these. For $15, I think it's, it's kind of a steal. She also has pressed ones now. She has pressed versions of the same colors now. So if you'd rather have a pressed multi-chrome, you can definitely head over her, head over to her website and pick one of those up instead. But I just think that the loose ones are so, so beautiful. I love them so, so much. The just this, 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 the shifty switches just, oh, they make my little heart happy. Now, if you're looking for a multi-chrome at a slightly lower price point, Profusion actually released some multi-chromes this year as well. They came out with their Metachrome collection, and in that collection, they had two sets of 
uh, like multi-chrome duos. So you got two little pots of multi-chromes. There are full four multi-chromes in total. And while these are very, very nice, you can definitely tell that the quality is nowhere near as nice as the Nakia Joy pigments. They just are, they're not, the shift is nowhere near as strong. And these ones are much more glittery uh, and they depend more so on the glitter for that shift than the actual pigmentation. However, that aside, these are really affordable. Uh, for about $14, you get two separate pots of pigments, which is a pretty great price point. I am going to do the same thing I did with the Nakia Joy. I'm going to put just a little bit of a glue down, and then I'm going to take my flat packing brush, dip a little bit into that pigment, and then press it right on top of that sticky primer. Now you're also getting considerably, uh, a considerably much, a much smaller amount of product in here as well. Uh, you're getting a ton of product in the N Nikia Joy ones, but in the Profusion pots, you can tell like there's like there is a very, very minuscule amount of product in there. I've only used these a couple of times and I can already see the bottom of the container. However, they are very, very pretty. So you can see these ones, like it's just pure pigment. The Nikio Joy is just pure pigment, whereas the Profusion, it's much glitter, glitterier and a little bit more metallic. It's because it depends on glitter for that flip rather than the pigment. And I assume they did that because glitter is, you know, it's a little bit more affordable than having to put all of that pigment into one eyeshadow. So I understand it. You're getting pretty much the same effect for a, you know, about half the price. So that's nice. Uh, I think it's a really, really nice option, especially if you want to dabble in multi-chromes, but aren't exactly sure if you want to go and really like spend the money on them. Cause like I said, they are quite expensive. I will say that the packaging on these is very, very, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, uh, it's not great. It's not great. It's a little bit finicky. If you don't twist them on exactly correctly, you, you risk dropping it and losing your pigment all over the place. Uh, they don't really, they don't feel very secure to me at all. It's very small. It's very dinky. I don't know. I think they're kind of like modeled to look a little bit like a spaceship, which I think is super cute. I just wish like, see, I didn't twist that on correctly. And it's like, yeah, there we go not my favorite packaging, not my favorite packaging, but the, the pigments themselves are very, very pretty. So it just depends. Would you, do you want something that's like super shifty and like full pigment, or do you want something that's a little bit softer? Uh, these, even when you pack them on like, uh, really, really densely, there is still a small amount of sheerness to them. And that's because of the glitter, but still very, very pretty. Just depends on what you like. Both of them are really beautiful and I enjoyed them best of. So we have one high end and one drugstore. Also, it is the only drugstore multi-chroma pigment that was released at all this year. So mm -hmm, we love that. Now the last category in like single eyeshadows is eyeshadow pots. So uh, this would be a category that would include maybe like the, any kind of like single eyeshadow, right? Like single powder eyeshadow. And this year, it just, I, it, it goes to Moira. Uh, Moira won a couple of categories this year, but y'all, the Star Show eyeshadow pots are well and truly mind blowing. They are, they're mind blowing. They're so incredibly beautiful. When I first played with them, I was like, how can this be? How is this a thing? And how in the world is she only charging $7 a piece for these? The Star Show eyeshadow pots are, they're just like a really gorgeous kind of like, I wouldn't say like a loose eyeshadow, but it's, it's kind of like a mix between a, like a foiled eyeshadow and like a, almost like an eyeshadow gel. They're, they have a very high moisture content, very similar to a super shock eyeshadow, but even more intense, even more reflective and just, uh, just better, just better in my opinion. So this is the shade holy moly and good lord almighty holy moly is correct it is like y'all they're beautiful they are so stunning they are a very reflective metallic almost foiled finish they are super super pigmented but they blend out and sheer out so beautifully 
They have a almost like dual chromatic effect to them. They are glittery and gorgeous. They come in a ton of different shades. She's got some really gorgeous bright shades. Like this teal turquoise shade is one of my very favorites of all time. I love this shade. This is the shade Shook, I believe. Yeah, this is the shade Shook. And then I also have the shade bang which is a really gorgeous like bright fuchsia color this one is a duochrome that change that switches from like a really gorgeous pink to like a golden shade you can see the texture is really flaky and almost like almost foiled but you blend it out and it smooths out so beautifully and it just looks this one is like super shifty this is like a straight up duochrome it shifts from a really gorgeous like bright pink to straight up like fiery peachy gold color absolutely stunning i freaking love these they are oh, look look they even look pretty like on the fingers once they've blended out they have a really gorgeous like glitter content to them as well but there's no fallout throughout the day they go on you do not need a glitter glue or pigment primer in order to play with these because they have their own moisture they just go on and they just y'all i can't get over it i can't get over how beautiful they are again they're only seven dollars i think it's seven dollars 750 no yeah 750 so they're seven dollars and 50 cents a piece which i think is a really fantastic fantastic price point and y'all they're just good they're just beautiful if you prefer more uh neutral tones she's got you covered as well there's everything from taupe to gold to silver to to gunmetal like there's a there's a shade in this range for absolutely everybody and they're fantastic also i really love the packaging they're these super super cute little pots with these kind of like pink starred tops on them they're so freaking cute i love these now the next category and the last category for today's video is going to be eyeshadow palettes and y'all when i tell you i agonized over these picks and I finally said it settled on uh, going for my top five favorite palettes slash brands of the year now I could not bring myself to actually rank them so I'm gonna talk about them in no specific order it's like when I go through my eyeshadow palettes it's like trying to figure out which child I love more it breaks my heart just a little bit each and every time but I did end up with five picks each of which I am very, very secure in uh, recommending to you guys. Uh, in the time that I have had them, I have reached for them over and over and over again. They are the most used palettes in my collection this year. You guys know uh, I list every single, I, I do a, a full list. Every single time I do my makeup, I write everything down. I have notepads upon notepads uh, because every time I post a look, I do a full description box and I went through my description boxes and I tallied up I actually counted and I tallied up how many times I used each eyeshadow palette and these were my most used palettes of the year first up we have the Juvia's Place Culture 2 this is quite possibly my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year again no specific order but this was my most used of the year. And when I tell you this eyeshadow palette has a special place in my heart, I am not lying to you. I am not exaggerating in any way. This is probably one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes in my entire collection. On top of it being just absolutely gorgeous, I love the textures in here. So Juvia's Place also included multi-chromes in their palettes as well. And the multi-chromes are just, can you, you can see the shift on that one just a little bit. They are spectacular. They're truly, truly stunning. Uh, and especially for the price point, you're getting a ton of product in here. And this is only a $36 eyeshadow palette. I think that is just amazingly wonderful the quality of this is unparalleled the uh, it's just it is an absolute joy to work with and play with i've used this so many times this year i will continue to use it because it is just so spectacular if you do not have this in your uh, collection i highly recommend you go pick it up uh we are coming into like the the new year and I guarantee there's going to be some sales coming up here shortly. I really think that, uh, I do think this is on sale right now, actually. I think that you should definitely 
think about picking this up. If you are a colorful makeup lover, you've been wanting to experiment with some multi-chromes, I think that this palette would do nothing but absolutely just bring you so much joy. It's spectacular and I love it so, so very much. In a very, very close second, we have the Glam Light Rick and Morty palette. Y'all, when they announced the release of this palette, I lost my ever-loving mind. I adore Rick and Morty. I watch it all the time. It's one of my very favorite cartoons. Uh, it is definitely an acquired taste, but I find it to be very, very hilarious and very mindless. And I love the colors and it's just, it, the, this palette is so spot on to the show. It's just, it's just everything. First of all, the packaging is everything you would want it to be and more. You open it up, you get a nice full-size mirror. I also love that you get Rick and Morty on the mirror as well. Super cute uh, little detail. And then this is your color story. And y'all, it is the classic Glam Light standard uh, quality, which is just absolutely out of this world. Their shimmers are something to really, really just... Oh, they, I mean, there's something to celebrate, really. They're glittery, but pigmented and buttery and gorgeous and so incredibly beautiful. I love them so much, so much. The mattes are rich and pigmented, but easy to blend. Like, look at that. Look at that swatch. That is a matte, and it's swatched like that. I just think they're just, they're incredible. They're incredible. I love every single shade in this palette. I don't know if you can see, like, the major dips in some of the shades, but I have gone to town on this palette this year. I've used it so many times. It continues to bring me an immense amount of joy. Uh, even just looking at it, I just want to dip my fingers into every single shade. Just that color, that color. It's just this whole, this whole, like this whole palette. I just love the color story. I love the blues and the pinks and the purples and the greens together. I just think it is so gorgeous and so fun. Very Lisa Frank-esque, you know. It is so beautiful. I love this thing. Uh, this palette goes for $38. Well, I'm sorry. This is $36. The Juvia's Place palette was $38. I'm sorry. Uh, but $36, I think, is a really fantastic price point for this palette as well. You're getting a ton of options in here, uh, a really great amount of product. And I mean, packaging is on point. Everything, everything about this palette is spectacular. And at $38, I mean, it's just. I mean, there is a reason Glam Light was probably one of, it was probably my favorite brand of the year. I just love them so, so very much. Next up, we have probably a rather unexpected pick. This is the ColourPop Heavy Petal Eyeshadow Palette. And I picked this up and I really didn't have a, a, a ton of like high hopes for this palette. I, I didn't think it was going to be anything special. I thought it was going to be a very easy, everyday kind of eyeshadow palette, easy to play with. So I went ahead and picked it up. But y'all, it, it, this is one of those palettes that you really have to experience it to really understand how spectacular it really, really is. The mattes in here are, I mean, it's the standard ColourPop uh, quality. Super creamy, easy to use, pigmented, but easy to work with and blend. You have some straight up matte shades. You've also got a couple of the sequined shades in here as well. Uh, the shimmers in here, I think, are so fun. You get a couple of different textures. So you have this really gorgeous kind of topper shade, which is probably my favorite shade in the palette. It's almost like this iridescent topper shade. So beautiful. You also have a duochrome in here as well. This one has a really very interesting kind of like gold to soft moss green kind of switch to it. Very, very pretty. You also have this one right here, which is more of almost like a super shock texture, but it's very gritty because there's a ton of glitter in there. Let's do a couple of swatches. So this is that like uh, gritty glittery shade. Super pretty. And then you have that holographic kind of like topper shade which is just like that iridescence is just so beautiful to me. And then you have the duochrome shade, which is that classic kind of super shock formula. It's almost like, yeah, can you see that? How it kind of shifts to like almost like a pink to green to gold kind of switch to it. Very, very interesting shade, but so, so pretty. Y'all, there is so much about this palette to to discover and enjoy. You also have just like your standard, like gorgeous super shock 
uh, textures. This shade is Garden Variety and it is a Super Shock. You can tell it's got that really gorgeous like high, uh, like high moisture content, but super reflective and beautifully pigmented. This palette is stunning. It is beautiful. I enjoyed every look I have done using this palette has surprised me. Every look has been better than the last. It is such an effortless and it's like just an effortless and joyous experience when you use this. It's just like, you don't even have to think about it. The way that this palette is set up, you can dip in. There's a great amount of depth in here. You get, you get nice light shades and then you get super deep shades. Like any color combination you put together with this palette is going to look beautiful and it's going to be interesting and it's going to be ethereal. It's such an ethereal palette. It's going to be soft and feminine and ethereal and just incredibly beautiful. On top of that, it's only an $18 palette. I think also it's on sale at Ulta right now for around $12. So you can go check it out if you want to. I, this was definitely my favorite ColourPop palette of the year. And it was, I think what makes it even better is it was so unexpected. This is such a boring color story. Uh, just, you know, to me, I just didn't think I was going to enjoy it anywhere near as much as I did. And then I dug my brushes into it and I was like, it was like, it was like, it was like an adventure and it was, it was very, very enjoyable. I love this palette. It is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to use it again. Next up, we have a new brand that I discovered this year, and this is Cosmic Brushes. Now, I finally broke down Cosmic Brushes is a UK-based, independently operated brand, and they're, you know, I just, I was, I, was, I was on the fence. I was on the fence about this brand. I didn't want to have to pay the shipping. I didn't want to have to worry about it showing up at my door, you know, intact and, you know, be being able to use it. Uh, I had heard from some people that the quality was, just literally amazing. And then some people said, oh, you know, it's just kind of like standard. It's nothing special. So when I found that they were releasing this palette, it looked so beautiful online that I just couldn't help myself. And I just went for it and I ordered it. And y'all, boy, oh boy, am I so incredibly happy that I did. So this is the Cosmic Brushes Winter Wonderland eyeshadow palette. This is I mean, this, this color story speaks for itself. It's just, it's beautiful. It is icy and gorgeous. All the pastels in here are so beautifully pigmented. Like they're, they're probably some of the creamiest, most pigmented pastels I've ever worked with. They're just, and they don't swatch the best, but oftentimes when a, uh, when it feels like that, but it swatches like trash, it means it's going to apply to the eye so beautifully and it does uh they don't swatch the best but they apply so beautifully they blend genuinely effortlessly like two flicks of your brush and you're good to go like they're just spectacular they're just spectacular they're stunning it's a fantastic fantastic formula they've also uh included multi-chromes in this palette as well so you get a couple of different multi-chromes in here and when i tell you they are they're just like, I mean, you can see the shift on that one. They're just, they're incredible. They're just incredible. It, I had the best time. Oh, I had the best time. I had the best time with this palette. It's beautiful. I, I have, I have experienced quite a bit of makeup bliss. Just look at that. Just playing with this palette. I think every time I open it, I find something new to ooh and awe over. I just, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. If you haven't gotten a chance to play with this brand yet, I highly recommend that you do so there. I tried to check their website today to get the price for this palette and their website is actually shut down. Like it's shut down for the holiday season. I, I don't think they're going to reboot it up until the beginning of next year. Uh, hopefully when they reboot it, they're going to have another, uh, a new eyeshadow launch, which is going to be very, very exciting. But I will keep you guys posted if you want, uh, if you want me to just let me know in the comments, but guys, this brand is definitely some, it, it's definitely one to look out for. Uh, they're, they're very, there's something special about this brand and I am very, very excited to see what they do in the future. And then last but not least, we have a brand that I have become very, very well 
uh, very well acquainted with this year, and that is Colored Rain. Now, Colored Rain is another independently owned brand. It's also a female owned brand, which I absolutely adore. This is the Thunder Palette, and I picked this up on sale. I think I picked this up for around ten dollars. Uh, originally, it goes for around twenty five. Y'all, it's got that, uh, that kind of, what is the word for that? I don't remember, but it's got that packaging that kind of moves like the picture moves, which I think is so, so fun. Open it up full size mirror. And then this is your color story. Now you might wonder why I picked the cosmic brushes, wonderland palette and this palette, the color stories do seem to be fairly similar. However, there is something about the addition of these tones right here, like these kind of like taupey gray tones mixed with the like almost like almost like gunmetal gray blues that makes such an interesting eye look. And then on top of that, just this brand in general, the formulas are, I mean, they're just so, so good. Uh, it's quickly shot up. I mean, it's in my top five uh, of the year, like not only these palettes, but these brands as well. These are my top favorite brands of the year as well. I just feel like each of these brands did something special and spectacular. There is something, there is something wonderful and unique about each one of these brands and Colored Rain is no different. Might be the last palette that I'm mentioning, but by no means does that make it the least. It is just, it, it's so, so wonderful. Their color stories are innovative and uh, and smart and they're curated in uh, a way that just makes it just you just enjoy using their palettes the actual formulas are i mean i mean i just i don't know how much more i can say about an eyeshadow other than it's just freaking good they go on they glide onto the skin like butter they blend out with little to no effort they're pigmented again swatches just like the uh, cosmic brushes doesn't swatch very uh, very well but they go on the eye so beautifully like there's literally not a single thing about this palette that I could nitpick or find wrong with it it's just good it's just a good solid eyeshadow palette just like the actual quality of the of the formula inside is good solid formula like their shimmers are I mean, just, mm, they're so good. They're so good. I love this palette. I love every single palette that I purchased from Colored Rain Cosmetics this year, and there were quite a few. Uh, in total, I purchased 112 eyeshadow palettes this year. Yeah, you can let me, you can, you can give it to me in the comments because it's a little bit ridiculous. It's a lot of bit ridiculous, but that's my job. I mean, not really my job because I don't get paid for it, but it's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy uh, playing with makeup and testing makeup and seeing what's uh, what what really makes a, a, a palette special, right? And at 112 palettes, y'all, I believe that I've, I, I've done been there and tested it. And uh, these five brands were the best of the best this year. I tried a bunch of makeup and each one of these brands really, it just set my soul on fire. Uh, it made my brushes twitch and my fingers itch and I just spectacular. I am all in all this year was a fantastic, fantastic makeup year. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed my best of mini series. Uh, I had a ton of fun digging through my collection and really, you know, sussing out what was really the best of the year. If you guys agree with my picks, I would love to know in the comments below if you disagree. That's even, I'm like even more interested in that. What are your picks? Like if you would pick something different, what would your picks be? I would love to know. Is there something that I missed out on this year? Because the FOMO is real. Guys, as always, I will list everything in the description box below. If you enjoyed the content, please do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up before you leave. As always, no filters, no fancy lighting. It is just me sitting in front of my camera, having a swatch party, playing with the very best makeup of the year, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.